Hi guys, good morning. I hope you're having a good week. And I want to know if you know what day is today. Can you tell me the day? Yes, today is Tuesday. Tuesday, May 19th from 2020. How do we know that? Well, because yesterday was Monday 18th, so today is Tuesday 19th. And I'm really happy to see you again here, kids. I was glad to told you hello yesterday. And as I already told you, we are starting our videos with some activities. Yesterday was mental calculation. Today it's going to be um, dictation. I know that I didn't give you any vocabulary words, but this dictation is going to be uh, from the regular verbs that I already gave you at class when we were taking classes at school, okay? So, don't get stressed. You can pause the video and study the verbs, or you can only answering uh, with your own answers, and this activity will not um, will not has any any value on your evaluation. Okay, but you must do it. And if you want it, please send it to me. Okay, let's start with the first word. It, uh, remember, I will tell you the irregular verb in infinitive and you must write it in past, okay? So you will learn it and memorize them by this way, okay? Verb number one, feed. Number one, feed. Number two, B. Number two, B. Remember to write it in past. Number three, can. Number three, can. Number four, drive. Number four, drive. Number five, cost. Number five, cost. Number six, bring. Number six, bring. Number seven, do. Number seven, do. Number eight, shoes. Number eight, choose and that would be the last word from today okay if you want to listen again you can rewind the video and listen again the list you already have the past tense of these verbs so you don't have any excuse to don't remember it okay so now let's go to the activities from today the activities that we have programmed today are from your book number four, book number four. Uh, on language section, we are going to answer the unit review. So everybody, let's go to page 103 and 104. I will share you. Okay, this is what we're gonna do today, okay? We are going to answer this page, unit review, from language. And let me explain you. We have 11 questions from our unit review. What we're gonna do is that I will share you my presentation and I put some examples, um, some examples um, with these topics, okay? For example, my first example is about nouns too. My second example, it's like this. Write the plural form of the following nouns. My three example, my third example on the presentation that I will show you, it's write two sentences. And I write my sentences. Uh, what do I want to do with this? 
Okay, I want to give you a quick explain of all of these topics so you have the tools to answer these 12 questions, okay? And if you can't, don't worry, remember that we can see each other on Wednesday and you can ask me all that you want, okay? So, uh, you can base your answers on my next presentation to answer this, okay? So, let's go to the presentation, guys. And it's not listening and reading comprehension, it's language section. But, sorry, let's go. Okay, there you go, sorry. And today we're going to start, as I told you, and language section page 103 and 104. Let's see. On that page, we have our first question, question that says, write all the nouns in sentences. And I say, what is a noun? We use the noun to name people, animals, places, or things. And these are my examples. My third grade students are very smart. What would be my noun? Yes, my third grade students. Third grade students is the noun. I'm talking about some people. Okay, number two. No, example number two, we want to eat pizza. What would be the noun? Yes, we, we would be a noun. But this is the principal noun because the sentence is talking about us. But pizza, it's a noun too because it's a thing, okay? Let's go to the next question on your book that would be, write the plural form of the following nouns. And we have some rules to remember with this. And what would be, if a noun ends in Z, double Z, double S, C, H, S, H, or X, we add E and S. Example, fax, faxes. Another rule to the plural form would be, if a word ends in F or F, E, we usually change the F or FE to V and add ES, example, knife, knives. In the most of nouns, you add S at the end, example, bird, birds, no. Now that we have our examples and our rules, maybe you will, you will be able to answer question number two. Okay, let's go to question number three. Write two sentences, one with a compound subject and one with a compound predicate. And for this, we need to remember what is a compound subject. A compound subject is when the sentence has two or more nouns. For example, Paolo and Nicole are going to the movies. Where are my, where is my compound subject? It is Paolo and Nicole, that's true. Now let's go to my compound predicate. What is it? The sentence has two or more actions. What would be my actions? The boys are going to play after they read. So my two actions, play and read. Let's go to the next question. Number four, we keep in page 103 and let's go to answer number four. Circle the correct conjunction for each sentence. What is a conjunction? Words that make connections. So let's go to the first one. Example. Emiliano was hungry, so he made a sandwich. And Emiliano, can you answer where is the conjunction on this sentence? Yes, the conjunction is so. And as you see, I circle it with my comma because the comma is part of it, okay? Number five, circle so do I or me too in each statement. These two, are common expressions to answer some statements or questions, okay? The difference between them are that so do I, it's formal, and me too, it's the informal answer. And let's see the examples. Examples, I like to play soccer in the afternoon. What would, would be the correct answer? Me too or so do I? Is it serious? Is it formal or informal? 
that statement. It is informal, so my, my answer would be yes, me too. Now let's go to the next sentence. Diego go to the school every day. Is that a formal or informal sentence? Yes, it is formal. So my answer would be, so do I, that's right. Let's go to number six. Circle will or going to on the next sentence. Will, when do we use will? We use it to express a voluntary action or a promise. Going to is less formal. We use it to talk about future plans. Let's see the examples. I will or going to take you to the movies tomorrow. What do you think it is? I will or I going to? Yes, I will. Now let's see the next example. Camila Burgos will or is going to play with her brother. Yes, Camila Burgos is going to play with her brother. Now let's go to number seven and that would be on page 104. Number seven, write the future progressive for the verbs in the parentheses. The future progressive, when do we use it? We use it to talk about a continuous action that will be happening in the future. We have will be before the verb and ing at the end of the verb. Let's see our examples. With this info, you will be able to answer question seven, okay? Example. Your verb is cook. You need to change this verb and put it in your future progressive. And this will be, my mother will be cooking dinner the entire week. This is a continuous action that will be happening the entire week, okay? Number eight, complete the sentence with the correct superlative or comparative adjective. Use the adjective in the parentheses, and we need to remember what is a comparative and a superlative. Comparative, we use it to compare two things, and we add more or er and then after the adjective. The superlative is to compare more than three things, and we add est at the end of the adjective. Let's see our examples. The tree is taller than our house. We are comparing the tree and the house, and we use then, okay? Now we, we need to convert expensive. This is the most expensive chocolate in the store because we are talking about the, ch the most expensive from the all chocolates in the store, okay? So let's go to number nine. Circle the prepositions of direction you can find in the sentence. What is a preposition of direction? When do we use it? We use it to show something moves from one, something moving one place to another. Let's see the example. The kittens are running around the table. What would be my preposition of direction? Yes, around. Now, let's keep on page 104. Number 10, write the possessive form for each noun on the lines. And what is a possessive noun? A possessive noun tells us who something belongs to, and we add a S at the end. So let's see our example. The bike belongs to the boy. How can you write this in a possessive way? Well, let's see if you answer correctly. The boy's bike, and I add my apostrophe and my S. Let's go to question 11. Write does, do, or did on the lines. Now, we need to remember what is, when do we use do, did, or does, okay? We use do to the nouns I, we, you, and they. We use does to the nouns he, she, it. And did is just the past tense for do and does. So we use it with all the nouns, okay? Let's see our examples. We have the first one. Now, we have it like an answer and like a question. And let's see how you need to answer. You, you need to put do, you like 
broccoli because it's in present and what do you answer? I like broccoli, so I would answer, yes, I do. But maybe you don't, so you say, no, I don't, okay? Let's see. They come to the game. This question is talking about something that is happening right now. So, what of these three I need to write? In present or past? Yes, it is deep and is it past, okay? It's in past. And the answer would be, no, they didn't, or yes, they did, okay? But this is past. Now, question number 12. Circle the object pronoun you can find on the sentence. What well, is an object pronoun? Replace the object nouns and are usually after the verb. So let's see the example. That takes them to the school. What would be my object pronoun? Yes, would be them. Okay, so this is all from our, to answer the unit review from language. It's page 103 and page 104. And this information, and uh, it, it has to be enough to answer those two pages, okay? If you have doubts, remember that you can write me by Algebraics or you can contact to me on Wednesday. So let's go to the next part from the activities from today. And that would be listening and reading comprehension on spelling section. We are going to work on pages 60 to 69, okay? So let's go to our book, page 60 and 6 to 69. Give me a second so I can share you the page. There you go. Here we are on page 16. Now, um, this section, sorry guys. Sixty. there you go, okay. This section is about listening comprehension. So, on this part, you must listen the track and follow the reading. And when you listen to a word that you are not finding, you must write it, okay? You must write it on the line. So, I'm going to play the track and you must listen to write the words. Now, if you don't know how to write a word, here is your word bank, okay? So, let's listen our track. Remember to read the entire instructions, okay? I will help you. Listen carefully to these students talking about the next test. Now we are going to listen. Passing the test. Listening comprehension. Listen carefully to these students talking about the next test. I'm doing really bad in French. No matter how much I study, when it comes to tests, I fail. That's weird, Justin. In class, you seem to be on top of it. Really? Is that what you think? Yeah, you are one of the best ones when it comes to speaking. Mmm, but surely not when I write it. It seems to me you are your own problem. You are making yourself fail the tests. How can that be, Roger? It is simple. Your attitude does it. If you start filling out the test thinking you are going to fail, that's bound to happen. So? What you need is to think positively. How? Before the next test, convince yourself that you are going to pass it. I'm sure you'll see it happen. You may be right. I'll do it. Okay. Oh, sorry. Okay. So 
The next instruction said, read the following paragraph about the story and fill in the blanks using the word bank. Maybe you will need to listen again the track because you will need the information to answer this paragraph, okay? So, remember that you have your word bank and I will help you to answer the first one. Justin is really bad in his French class. He failed the test, okay? He does well when he writes, but not when he speaks. That's good. So you will keep answering this using the information from the track. If you cannot listen the track at home, you can play again the video, okay? Our video, you can rewind and play again the track. So let's go to page 61. We keep talking about passing the test, but now it's not listening comprehension. Now it's speaking. So let's read the instruction. Listen to Justin and Roger talking about Pacific thinking, and I will play the track. Let's listen with attention, kids. Passing the test, speaking. Listen to Justin and Roger talking about positive thinking. I'm doing really bad in French. No matter how much I study, when it comes to tests, I fail. That's weird, Justin. In class, you seem to be on top of it. Really? Is that what you think? Yeah, you are one of the best ones when it comes to speaking. Mmm, but surely not when I write it. It seems to me you are your own problem. You are making yourself fail the tests. How can that be, Roger? It is simple. Your attitude does it. If you start filling out the test thinking you are going to fail, that's bound to happen. So? What you need is to think positively. How? Before the next test, convince yourself that you are going to pass it. I'm sure you'll see it happen. You may be right. I'll do it. Very good. Can your attitude make you feel better? Talk with your partner about this. Use the following sentences, the word bank, and your own words to explain yourself. There you go. Now, we already, they already read us the instructions, but you don't answer to me. Can your attitude attitude make you feel better? What do you think about that question? Of course your attitude can make you feel better because the attitude is a feeling that I have in front of a situation. For example, if I feel sad because today it's a hot day, well, my day will, will um, I'm sure that my day would be really catastrophic or something like that okay because i'm not enjoying my attitude is like sad and complaining because of the heart but instead if i'm happy if i'm full of energy i'm sure i'm pretty sure that my day will be better all of because my attitude okay so uh you will talk with your mother your father or whoever is taking care of you you will talk about this, the attitude, and if the attitude can make you feel better, okay? So what is improve? Improve is to get better in something that we were not the best, okay? Attitude, I already said that the attitude is the feeling or the emotion that, it, that we present into a, as a, and as a, a Ah, the attitude is the is the emotion that the that we put in front of a situation. Okay, I'm sorry about that. Succeed is when we do something good. 
learn. What well, learn is the process that you are doing now, okay? You're achieving knowledge that you wouldn't, that you wasn't know before. Help, well, you already know what is help. Goals, you already know what is hope. Goals, trying. Trying is when you try to do something. When you are not the best, but you are doing the best that you can, okay? And feedback. Feedback is when you, when we repeat, when we review some information to get more clear. What we did on our unit review from language a few minutes ago, it's a feedback, okay? So you will choose these words and place it on these sentences, okay? For example, when I make a mistake, I what? I learn from it, okay? I learn from my mistakes. So let's go to page 62 and says, activate your brain. So what makes you happy? What do you do to make yourself feel better when you are sad? Can you answer me those questions? Well, I will tell you what makes me happy, it's music. And what do you do to make yourself feel better when you're sad? I listen to music. And sometimes I go with my friends. So let's see the video and then we are going to listen because we need to complete, okay? First the video, pay attention guys. Oh, it's just images. Think positive. What about think positive? Well, think positive, make things happen. Make the impossible possible. Okay, so let's see. Listen to the story and fill in the blanks with the correct missing words. Listen carefully because you will need to follow the reading and to listen so you can complete the lines, okay? The blank spaces. Positive thinking. It's a beautiful day, or is it? What you think of as a beautiful day, warm and sunny, someone else might think is too hot and uncomfortable. Maybe you think a rainy day is beautiful with raindrops on the window, puddles on the ground and a rainbow when it's over. But someone else might feel that same rainy day makes them sad because it's gray and wet outside. Two people can look at the weather on any given day and feel completely differently about it. It's all in our heads, how we feel and what we think. Does thinking so much about thinking make you confused? Well, think about it. How happy you are in your life and how healthy you are can have a lot to do with how you think. Do you okay. think everything is bad and negative? Okay, there you go. Before we go to the other page, I want to know if you write the correct answers. So, what did you put on the first one? Yes, hot. Now, on the second line. Window. On the third one. Feel. And the last one. Happy. That's true. So, you read the text and listen. Now you will be able to answer the next pages by yourself. I will not give you answering any answers, okay? What makes a rainy day beautiful? Well, to me, a rainy day beautiful, it's because the raindrops are on the window and puddles on the ground, okay? Does everybody feel exact the same way about the weather? No, some people like rainy days and some people like hot days. So let's go to page 63 and you will answer by yourself. So pay a lot of attention. It's only four words. Do you find something you don't like every day about school, 
your friends or your family, chances are that you don't feel very good about yourself or that you just plain don't feel good. Scientific studies have shown that people who feel happier are healthier. You can actually make yourself happy too. It's called positive thinking. Studies show that people who tend to think happy thoughts more often are healthier and less likely to get sick. When you do get sick, you probably will get better faster if you have a positive attitude. There is a saying that a positive person will look at half a glass of water and think that the glass is half full. A negative person who always thinks bad thoughts will see the glass as half empty. Are you a glass half empty or a glass half full type of person? You should try to see the glass as being half full because it will help you to live a longer life. There have been many studies where patients were given fake pills for their illnesses, but they got better anyway. Why? Because the doctor told them the pills would cure their sickness, and the patients believed it. Other studies show that most medical treatment work best when the patient believes it will work. This is true in your personal life too. Do you think you will do poorly on a test? Or that you won't make friends? Well, then those things will probably happen. But if you feel good things will happen to you, then your positive thoughts will affect your actions and you will do better in school, in sports, and at home. Your thoughts can even make physical changes in your body. For example, have you ever watched a scary movie and it felt like you were really scared? Did you feel your heart pound and did you breathe faster? You weren't actually being chased by a lion or attacked by pirates, were you? No, it was just a feeling you had from watching the movie. You can also make yourself feel more relaxed by closing your eyes and thinking about a time and place where you felt relaxed and happy. For example, sitting on the beach in the warm sun during a family vacation. Try it. Here are some things you can do to start thinking positive and feeling better. 1. Be grateful. Every day think of one thing you are thankful for, even if it's something small, like a pretty bird song you heard in the morning. 2. Get moving. Play and exercise always makes you feel better. Outdoors is best. Three, try new things. Saying yes to new things, maybe by making a new friend or trying a different sport, can lead to exciting new changes in your life. Four, live for today. Don't worry about what happened yesterday or what might happen in the future. Be happy today. Five, laugh. Even if you didn't feel like laughing before, you will be in a better mood afterward. Do you think these suggestions are silly? Why not try it? You have nothing to lose. And if you try these things, you may well end up in a better mood, happier and even healthier. Very good. So try to answer to yourselves these understandings and circle all the contractions these you, these you need to do on this page. Just this page, okay? So let's go to next page. 66. Answer the following questions with the information from the text used to complete sentence, okay? You must Read the text again so you can answer these questions. What is the main idea of the text? Well, I think that main idea is to show you that positive thinking is better than a negative thinking. What do scientific studies say about people who feel happy? 
if you remember, it says about something, the medicines and something about sickness. Read it again, okay? So you will answer these pages. Now let's go to page 67. Enrich going deeper and says, Pacific thinking may sound like an easy thing to do, but it's not always so simple. Some people have difficulties thinking positively and staying happy. Those people need a good support system and friends and family who care about them. What would you do if a friend was having these types of problems? So let's go to our presentation to see how did I answer this page? This will help you. Okay, I have some presentations here, three. To answer page 67, 68, and 69, okay? These next uh, presentations, these next slides will help you to answer those three pages. And to answer page 67, we'll say, imagine you have a friend or family member that is having trouble thinking positively and being happy. What would you say or do to try to help them get out of their sad state of mind? Write three complete sentences explaining what you would do to help your friend. Okay, this is the problem that you had on page 67. You need to answer with three complete sentences, okay? Like mine. I will show you my first. I would put him in some happy, I would put him some happy music. Music can change our mind state. I would listen to his problems. Sometimes people just need to talk and be listening and be listened. Number three, I can take I can take them out to get distracted. So this is my three sentences, okay? And please don't copy them. Use your imagination and answer by yourself. So let's go to page 68 and let's see what it's page 68 asking to do. Page 68. Enrich visible thinking, creative thinking, inventing. Food can also be a source of happiness and comfort for a lot of people. Yes, a lot of people love to eat. Eating healthy is a sure way to make you feel positive and happy. What are some dishes that make you feel happy? And now comes the instructions. Create a new recipe. Think about the food that makes you happy. Think of a new recipe or put your own original twist on a recipe that already exists, like pizza or ice cream. Complete the graphic organizer with information about your recipe. Okay, I didn't make, I wasn't make my graphic organizer, but I use these topics to answer. So I will help you to answer this page too, okay? Now, Ingredients. Oh, recite four. You have a part on your book that says recite four, and you will write what are you going to cook. And I'm going to cook spicy spaghetti. My ingredients are long pasta, tomato sauce, pepper, garlic, salt, chipotle, and chipotle pepper. Now, process. Number one, put the pasta into, into boil water. Wait until it gets cooked. And I put my number two, three, four, and five steps on my process. You will do it like this, okay? And the last one says tips. You may add some butter to the pot before you serve the mixed sauce. This is my tip to my recipe, okay? This is to answer page 64. You need to pick your own recipe. And write it like this, okay? With steps and everything. Now, let's go to page 69. What we're gonna do on page 69? Do your best, write about it. Positive vibes only. Positive thinking can work very well to keep bad thoughts and bad luck away, and it can help you be healthier and live longer. Remember that thinking positively does not guarantee success in life, although it, although it does increase your, changes, your chances of achieving your goals and dreams. 
what are some things you do or think to keep a positive attitude? And you have five, five steps, okay? Right, step-by-step -step guide with five tips on how to live a more positive life. Use different tips from the ones in the text. Different tips from the, one, from the text, okay? Think about the things you do to stay positive. Think on yourself when you are sad and when you are um, angry, what you do to feel better with yourself. And when you think on that, you will be able to answer that page. But I will show you my presentation anyway. Uh, page 69, write about it. This is my instructions, which I already read, and my number one. Sleep between seven and eight hours by day. A good sleeping make your brain work better and produce happiness. Number two, meditate early in the morning. It will help you to remain relaxed when you have obstacles. Three, do something every day to achieve my long-term goals. If I do something my, for my goals, I feel like a productive person and, and I will not have any time to get sad. Number four, do exercise. And number five, listen to music. These are my five steps to feel better, okay? Uh, well, this is the last page that we will be answering today. Tomorrow, we will keep working in this section, okay? I feel really happy to see you here, guys, and I hope you have uh, all your di dictation good and i was happy to see you see you tomorrow and i will be waiting for your activities see you tomorrow in our live zoom and have a nice day bye guys